Hey you guys, it's Megan and we are going to do a room transformation today. As you can see, this room looks like a disaster. Um, everything in here pretty much will be staying in here. I just haven't put anything away and this is my office slash beauty room. Um, so it'll be where I film videos, um, where all my makeup and beauty products will be, and then also my like real full-time job office as well. This is also where my closet is because my bedroom though it is massive and <laughs> incredible it doesn't have like a clothes closet so um i have this up here and i haven't brought any of my clothes over yet um but i will eventually fill that up but for today's video i want to focus on <laughs> cleaning up this mess, putting away all my beauty products into this amazing dresser that I bought at an antique store. It was love at first sight and um, what I was looking for for a piece like this was like wide shallow drawers. So this was pretty much perfect. Um, the drawers aren't super deep, which I didn't want really deep drawers because then I can't see all my products. So my goal is to put all of my makeup collection in this top drawer and then um, my like current skincare in this second drawer, but we might need it for overflow makeup. I'm not sure yet. And then the rest of the drawers will be um, my Bath and Body Works collection, nail polish if possible, if I can fit it in here, and then my backups. And then I'm hoping to have an extra drawer um, or at least part of a drawer empty so then I can put like things that I want to talk about or put my empties or things like that that I didn't previously have like a good spot for. Um, so this will be the main thing that will be filling up and then that should really clear up most of this space. I have my um, makeup collection in here like just in the acrylic drawers that I I had at home. I think there's, yeah, there's more over here. Um, I have this whole bin of like organizers. So that will be like a good way to organize within the drawer. I have all my makeup brushes in there. And then I have like my backup skincare just kind of all over the place. Um, and then I have my full Bath and Body Works and like body care products here um and i have nail polish in there and over there so we'll just see what we can get accomplished today and if you're excited to see this transformation be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into this i'm lining the drawers with this go gorilla grip drawer liner and what i liked about it was that it was kind of transparent um and so it has like these lines or ridges on it so then your product shouldn't shift um you could use it for whatever but i'm gonna use it for my makeup organization so now i'm going to see how much of my makeup collection fits in here i really hope all of it or at least the majority of it fits in this top drawer i'm starting with my palettes and let's see what we can fit in here
All right, you guys, so all of my eye makeup and lip makeup is currently in here, and I just kind of like tossed it in. Um, so I want to organize this, see how this all fits, and then try to add in my face makeup as well. Um, that's like the last category that I have. And then I do have like my full everyday makeup bag that I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about that. Like, will I keep an everyday makeup bag or will I just have everything in here? I'm not 100% sure. So this is what we're starting with for the organization. And so let me get some different like dividers and stuff and see how we can clean this up. If you guys shop at Target a lot, I really recommend leaving labels on things like with the barcode because in their app, you can go to um, this little icon on the search bar and you can just scan the barcode and it pulls up the product. So I just discovered that this organizer fits perfectly like vertically in here um so i'm probably gonna get another couple of these um unless my like current organization works really well but i feel like this is kind of like a match made in heaven so i like to keep my barcodes on what i can so then i can do that whenever i want to like repurchase something So I'm happy with the lip product set up. It took me a little bit, but I finally got everything where I can basically see it all in one layer. My lipsticks like fit just perfectly in this um, other organizer. And so now I'm going to focus on my eye products.
So here's where I'm at currently. Um, I'm happy with this drawer or this little organizer, but I really want to get some more of these long drawers that fit perfectly in here. Um, so I think I'm going to go to Target, get the extra ones that I can um, to just like fill out this drawer with more because I feel like that really utilizes the length of the drawer as well um, because right now with like all my other organizers they're not utilizing like a quite a few inches back here um, and I think that makes a big difference so I forgot to record this but I just found another one of these long organizers in my piles <laughs> Um, so I was able to fit the majority of my high-end makeup palettes in here and it literally fits perfectly like I cannot buy <laughs> anything else um, and I set one of my Chanel palettes out because I want to use that for decor I think um, and then this section I'm not like super like in love with how this looks right now and there's still a few more things I need to fit in um, and I have like this dead space here that I think I'm going to I don't know what I'm gonna do but I did order um, more like organizers like this because the ones that fit like perfectly in here are 12 inches like across so they have a bunch of like organizers at Target that are this exact same like style and they all like kind of line up to be 12 inches so I just ordered a bunch of those for pickup so I'm probably going to rejig a lot of this um so we'll I'll keep you posted oh my gosh you guys Ugh! I had no idea how much body care I had but I am going to put this in the bottom drawer I hope everything fits because like this is a few layers deep and I have my body sprays I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with those I want to have those like more accessible um, so anyhow I'm going to get started organizing these So I roughly organize these by type. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these EOS ones down here or especially the Jasmine Peach is just kind of like a nice neutral scent. I might put this in our guest bathroom. Um, the Vanilla Cashmere, I really like this and it's like a good caramely scent. So I think I'm gonna keep it in here. But if you can see, I have my backups here as well, which I don't know if that's like the best idea. Um, I do have my Alex five drawer unit from uh, my parents' house that I might put my backups in because I don't want to get confused about what is a backup and what's new. And then also, I didn't bring all of my shower gels, so... I want to save room for those um, so I'm going to remove the backups from this area and then just try to make all of this fit and look nice and potentially I will fit my body sprays in here I'm not sure because I like I said I want to have them accessible so anyway let's do <laughs> the rest of this organization
All right, so I know that I have at least two more body creams at my parents' house that I still have to bring here. So I left spaces for those and then I put my lotions behind that. Um, and then some of my not Bath and Body Works lotions, and then I'll bring the rest of my shower gels here. Um, and these are all of my backups. The majority are the blueberry sugar pancakes, uh, because I'll just be devastated if that doesn't come back. So I'm gonna put this in my other drawer, um, unit and just have only my, like, actively, um, opened body care in this uh, drawer. I'm going to try to fit all of my skincare in one drawer. I have a bunch of stuff in here. This is all my backups. And then this is a hodgepodge mess <laughs> of all sorts of bathroom stuff, but I have like stuff that I'm actively using in here. And then I have some of my skincare in the bathroom so I might put all the stuff I'm actively using in the bathroom but I'm not sure if I have enough space so let's just see what we can fit in one of these drawers All right, you guys, so this is the majority of my skincare backups. I didn't bring all of my moisturizer backups, so I'll put those in here, as well as my deluxe products. I didn't bring most of those at ho from home, so I'll be able to have room to put them in here easily. So this will fill up a little bit more, but I'm glad that pretty much everything like definitely fits in here and then I am going to put my current skincare in the bathroom I'll just have to figure out the best solution for that so it's been a few days and I finally got the organizers that I was waiting on so we are finally going to finish organizing this drawer and I know it looks organized but I am not super happy with how this is right now so i'm really happy that i got some of these bigger ones i think they're 12 by 8 yeah um and the ones that i was using before are 12 by 4 so um i'll be able to mix and match those because i already have a few but i was like having to use like smaller containers and i just feel like with eyeshadow stuff, I like to have it more like spread out. So we are going to finish this up today. I'm so excited because eyeshadow is my favorite thing. So I'm happy to have a whole drawer dedicated to it. So if you're excited to see <laughs> my final transformation to the drawer of my dreams. Oh my gosh, this is so dramatic. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get started.
right, you guys, I think I am finally satisfied. <laughs> so let's take a look at this drawer. Literally, oh my god, like, this is so insane. Um, so I used all of the organizers that I bought, so I'm really happy about that. And I discovered that I could put one of the small ones, like, on top of the longer one, and I can, like, slide it. So I put my eyebrow products in here. And the only thing that didn't fit was like a brow pencil, which I rarely ever use. So I just put that with my mascara and like everyday eyeliner. And um, I have like cream shadow sticks over here and then other cream shadows. And then I have like my more colorful eyeliners back here, which I can easily get to by just moving that, which is so cool. And then I have my eyeshadows galore and I'm really happy with how this all fits so I have like my single shadows and like smaller palettes and then I have my matte quads and I'm very happy that I can actually see the colors that are in those and then in the back I have my three Dior quints just kind of stacked up and so fancy and then I have my really fancy section here with my Chanel, Byredo, Tom Ford, and Pat McGrath. And it's just like gold everywhere. It is so bougie and I love it. The Tom Ford palettes fit in the drawer on their side. So I just have them like, like gold and silver bars <laughs> in the back. And I just love my Chanel compact. So I have those there. And then the rest of my eyeshadow palettes fit perfectly in this last drawer. And there was just a little space on the side for me to put my Rudolph palette, which I don't use that much, um, but I like to have it for the winter. So I'm keeping that and the rest of my palettes all fit here perfectly that was like so fortunate and then the next drawer I did adjust a little bit even though I thought it was perfect before now it is perfect 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 so I used mostly the same organizers um, and so I have like concealer and foundation all the way on the left I have all my powders I put my like cream blush highlighter in this uh, third section and then I put like my bronzers in the back then I have a little um, container with my two highlighters and then I have like my single blushes here I have all of my Chanel blushes um, two of the new Chanel like these are like lip and cheek creams and a NARS mini blush and my favorite NARS blush palette just fit ever so perfectly back there because I didn't have like I use my other small organizer for my brow products but this worked out great. I have all of my lip glosses in one like long organizer and then I have my liquid lipsticks and some of my like brighter colored lipsticks back there and then I have these are the only lipsticks that I still have in my collection there. And then I have my lip liners and like lip crayons up in the front. So that is everything for the makeup drawers in this unit. Right now the next drawer is still empty. I'm still deciding if I wanna put nail polish in here or not. This drawer <laughs> like whole thing is very, very heavy now. So I'm trying to be smart about that. Um, the next drawer, I actually worked on this the other day and I didn't film it, but I put all of my um, body mist down here and I don't know if I'll keep it this way, but I do really like having my like travel sprays and like perfumes from like perfume subscriptions in here. They fit standing upright um, and the drawer can still close. So I really, really like that and I'm definitely gonna like keep these in here, but I just don't know if I'll reach for my sprays enough um, if they're in a drawer. So that I'm still like 
trying to decide. And then the next two drawers, you guys saw all this, um, my skincare backups, and now I can see literally everything at a glance. And then finally, my body lotions and shower gels. So that all fits in here other than my backups. I put those in my other drawer unit. I still have to figure out exactly what I'm doing for like decor up here, but I did order a mirror that I'm excited about. Um, I'll link it down below because it was really affordable on Target's website and the reviews are really good. So I'm excited about that, but um, oh, and I have two of my lipsticks in this cute lip um, tray that I got at the Target dollar spot. It was $3, and so I put my uh, Christian Audette Lisa Lisa D1 lipstick and my Tom Ford um, Rose Prick lipstick there. This little faux plant is from Target. This little thing is from Target. I just have everything kind of like sitting here. It's not like really decorated, but um, that is about it for my makeup and beauty drawers. The room is still a little messy, but I did like put things away and whatnot. So it's, it's getting there, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted on the decor that I end up going with up here. So definitely keep watching my vlogs and I'm sure I'll eventually do like a beauty room tour because once I get it, the way I want it. I definitely want to share all that with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this wild ride to get to a pretty good place with my makeup organization. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.